condition of knee arthritis, it's a degenerative disease of the knee joint that causes progressive loss of cartilage. So as this is a very common problem and it affects middle-aged and elderly people, with about 10% of people in Singapore suffering from knee arthritis. Around the world, it's probably the leading cause of musculoskeletal disability as well. So what is knee OA or knee arthritis and how do I know I have knee OA? Um, pain is the most common uh, presentation or complaint and 90% of patients first develop pain on the inner side of the knee, as you can see the picture there. And this is important to note, uh, that's normally where it begins. Sometimes it spreads the front of the knee as well, and so patients get pain just behind the kneecap. This pain is usually triggered by walking and standing uh, for prolonged periods. Also, many patients have difficulty climbing stairs, particularly when it comes to climbing down the stairs, they seem to have no problem. Um, some patients also get stiffness, and they find that the knee is stiff uh, when they wake up in the morning or after they've been sitting down for too long, example, when they're on the bus or on the train. Knee swelling and warmth is also another uh, common complaint, um, especially after patients exercise too much or they do too much housework. Um, deformity is another problem later on in the disease as the arthritis gets more severe, up to 90% um, of the time, the deformity will be bow-legged deformity. That means the knees start moving further apart, like you can see, at the bottom left. Now, about 10% of the time, you get knocked knees where the knees start to come together, as you see at the bottom right. So how do we prevent knee OA or knee arthritis? The risk factors for knee arthritis, we can divide into modifiable risk factors and unmodifiable risk factors. So we are obviously more interested in the modifiable risk factors. And uh, for, knee, for the knee, sometimes uh, when you get knee injuries, it can lead to uh, earlier arthritis in the knee. So if you suspect that you have twisted your knee and there's significant pain or swelling, please see a doctor early so that you can get treatment early. When you get early treatment, usually the damage is less and you get much better recovery. And this helps to prevent arthritis. Um, a lot of the time, some patients will also say that they have drops or occupations that require heavy lifting um, or repetitive knee bending. So in such drops, it's important to take regular breaks while at work. And also if there are heavy loads to lift, get colleagues to help out so that uh, the load is shared. As we get older, a lot of times we become more sedentary and we don't exercise as much. So muscle weakness becomes another problem that can predispose people to arthritis. And we should lead a more active lifestyle. Like if we need to, we should exercise the, the knees more and get even the physiotherapist to help us strengthen the knee muscles. Also, as we get older, weight becomes more of an issue. So some people become more overweight. Um, the answer to that is obviously diet and active lifestyle. We recommend uh, either walking or swimming or cycling at least three times a week. Um, other things we can do, um, next slide. We can avoid high impact exercises, excessive uh, squatting and uh, excessive stair climbing as well. And remember when you do uh, sports and you exercise, please wear proper footwear because that not only supp uh, supports your foot and keeps your ankle and foot in the right shape, but at the same time, it helps to reduce the stresses on the knee joint as well. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe.